Shalom. So, I'm sure everybody either heard or has said, God dwells inside of us. Or God dwells in my heart. You know, usually when you talk to somebody religious, when you're trying to explain something to them, and they refuse to look at factual evidence. Now, at the very best, you um, preaching this uh, this incorrect fallacy that is actually damnable, that God dwells within you or within your heart. And let's use a couple examples to show this incorrectness. There has been plenty of times in the so-called Old Testament where God says, do not come near me or tell people not to come near the mountain because they are unholy. And if they come before me, my righteousness will burn them up. They cannot see God for God is holy. Man is still flesh. So that's actually example one and two. It's an example one because it's speaking on that same matter of God not dwelling in your heart. And it's a second example all in itself because it's written law. So at the very most, it's um, blasphemous fantasy. Um, thinking that something, someone, the, the most high, almighty, uh, would dwell in you after he already said, we cannot come near unto him. I mean, as far as see his face, we come near him, excuse me, but we can't come to see his face. And secondly, like I was saying, it's just outright blasphemous. Because you're teaching others that it's okay to do whatever you want. You don't have to live a life of righteousness. God understands. And God is in you and in me and in everything when this is totally and highly incorrect Amen. we have to go to the word show me in the Torah where it says that God dwells within us because I mean think about it according to the word if God dwelled in you it's like you said you'd be dead Shalom